Hey everybody, thanks for watching. We are at the Be Better Golf School in Thackerville, Oklahoma. I had to think about it. Uh, really excited to be here because it's such a, a great facility. You had to have a great group of guys that just finished a uh, grueling day of uh, very fun work. And uh, about to start day two in the morning. Tony, I want to do a little work on my swing. One of the things that this video is going to be called, How to Hit Better Long Irons. Uh, long irons are difficult and for me very important because they're always like, second shots on par fives that could you know eventually become a birdie if you hit a good long iron or uh, par threes long par threes that would be you know a par so birdies on par fives pars on par threes that's like a really great um formula to hit, to make better scores what is the difference it's it's longer away from you but it's the same mass so there's almost like more it's harder to, to kind of get it to the ball what are some of the keys to hitting better long irons so a lot of it has to do with angle of attack into the ball and what's its path. And a lot of times people will maybe try to swing this a little bit more like they would a mid iron. You know, if the club's coming in too much to the inside and too steep, it's not going to be a good successful shot. Because again, when we take a look at the design of the club, this is designed a little bit more like a fairy wood hybrid where the shaft's in line with the face. It doesn't have as much offset. So because it has less offset, we've got to swing it differently has to be swung more like a fairway wood, more of a sweep in motion to get those path lines better. So not so much from in here and then trying to trap it is getting that club head down here and getting through the shot. All right, we got the foresight set up, Tony, with, uh, that's tracking the actual club. Mm -hmm. What are the numbers that, the like optimal numbers? Like as far as how much down and then how much from the path? Yeah, you know, every player's a little bit different, but I, I like to see about, you know, two degrees in out, two degrees down okay. would be kind of like my optimal numbers. Mm -hmm. And then based on just, again, not a lot of shaft lane, hands just slightly in front of the ball through impact, and then just letting the club get the ball up in the air, not, not the golfer trying to get the ball up in the air. And if somebody comes to you say that they're, they're playing pretty well, but they're struggling with the long irons, what's the first thing you look at? First thing I'm looking at is what's happening through the ball. Uh -huh. Are they hanging back? Because if they're trying to hang back and get the ball up in the air, uh -huh. by kind of lifting it, they're never going to hit it. Okay. Here. So that's pretty typical, like fairly solid, but but pull. Now, before we were working on this, I thought that that pull meant that I was swinging too far to the left. Right. But what what did the numbers show? Let's pull up the numbers. So again, what we see is, let's take a look at the path. You know, I like, again, like I said, I'd love to see about two degrees in to out on the path. And we got like 5.6, I believe, is in to so, out. So 5.6 from the end. Okay. Yeah. So again, right now, in order, balls should go to the right, so now you have to manipulate it with the face. Mm -hmm. So that's where that hook comes from. So you're not actually swinging left, it's kind of back and then flipping it at the bottom. So we actually want to get this path to feel a little bit more down the line instead of so much in to out. Yeah, and the angle of attack down on that, that was uh, 4.7 angle of attack down. So I'd like to see that shallow out. Here's a nice simple drill that you can do. Is let's say we set up the ball and use the equator, this vert practice. They say that's the center line. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to just turn this practice to the left a little bit, counterclockwise. Now I want you to actually try to hit the back of that. Yeah. Or we could say just leave it square and hit the outside of it. Yeah. Either yeah. way, everyone's a little bit different with that. Okay, so that's shaped from left to right a little bit, about the same start line. Uh, it changed our path a little bit. Okay, so about one degree in to out rather than So six. I love that. Yeah. So I mean, that, that's gorgeous mm -hmm. right there. And still a little bit down more than what I'd like to see it, but again, I like that's a little bit more of, of I think, left over from tendency of maxing out that driver swing. Okay. So we just kind of shallow that out a little bit and kind of, kind of in a sense, feel like it's a little flatter through the ball. Okay. But that's a great line right there. So good job on fixing the path. 
So same path and just kind of sweep it more through and get through it. There you go. Felt pretty good. Okay, I went back to it's a little far to the right, but my attack angle came down some. So attack angle was down three, and my path was was four and a half to the right. Right, and that's the reason why the ball went right. So again, that's that's the challenge: is how do we get the club down instead of the body getting it down? Because if the body shifts forward and is tilting back and kind of spins, that gets us real steep into the shot. Well, I almost get the feeling like we're out here, getting that club head out here, sweeping it more. In yeah. Front so of us. from a face-on view, this would be. The wrong thing. Correct. Okay. Yep. And then this, I can already feel I, I can't get to the ball, so it has to be it has that. To be that. Correct. And this would be more out and then through. And I would even say with this, is you're probably going to feel a little bit more of that right okay. there. So, because I need that club head. I need the club head to get there. If you hang, hold angles too long with this, you're going to get steep. So here and there. There you go. There you go. There it is. That's better. That's a straight bullet. Yeah. All right, we got three degrees to the right and three degrees down. One thing when we were working on this a while ago that I remember visually kind of helped was I remember when Darren Clark won the British Open and and uh, he was like like that almost, yes. you know? Yeah. But uh, I remember I, s I stopped doing that just from uh, uh, the the impact being a little like thin, you know, right. from being in front of it. Right. So how can I do that without quite such a funky look, you know? So I like kind of a punch shot drill, making sure that we kind of get that finish right there and accelerating the arms through the ball with the chest in front of us. You know, it's almost like if you, exactly, if you took like a medicine ball and we had a medicine ball and you were bringing it through, there it is. Yeah, it's very together. It's together. Rather than it's away from it there and then it's away from exactly. it. Exactly. Uh, yeah. That felt pretty together. That felt pretty good. 2.6 to the right. Uh, it was just a little too far down though, five down. Yeah, you can kind of see you kind of just were hanging and trying to fix it at the bottom a little bit. Because I feel like though, Tony, like when I try to go forward and I do go forward, then I try to go down then. Right. I feel off sides. Because it's it's out of sequence or out of order. We want the club to get down here and then chase the club forward. So in a sense, you want to get the feeling that the body is chasing your arms through the ball. Yes. Okay. So I nice shot, but I could just hear how down yeah. it was. So again, that's I'd like to see the club get, there, get to the ball sooner. Yeah, the path is great, two and a half degrees uh, to the right, which is in our zone, but yeah, it's still five degrees down. So you want the club to the ball sooner. So club to the ball sooner. There you go. Much cleaner. Yeah, that was clean. That felt great. Okay, so I got, yeah, see that flip flop is so only two degrees down, which was great and it felt pure, but, but now five degrees to the right. But that's, that's yeah. just the process of transitioning, oh, flip flopping yeah, right. flop back and forth. So. so that's exactly what we're looking for with angle of attack coming down. Mm -hmm. You know, now the thing is, as, we get, as you get better with it, we'll work on that. And again, you know, and that's the reason why the ball kind of just mm -hmm. stayed a little bit out to the right, but now, now you can start working on angle attack and path all at a quarter of a second is challenging but that's just what you have to do okay one final shot on a part three here i got a little baby t uh can you drop the machine back just a little bit i'm going to try one off of just a little bit of a t more of a part three feel see if that all right so i'm going to go here there and then there you go chase after it down the line There you go. Good job. Nice shot. All right, only 1.8 degrees to the right and 1.9 degrees down. Okay. All right. So, so now you're starting to get a better feel for where the club mm -hmm. is, and then you can start piecing those together. Yeah, because the thing that's so great about it's you know it's it's a uh, 
it's expensive, but it's one of the great things about lessons and other things is that, you know, I would have I would have kept hitting solid pools, thinking my path was too far, like it used to be. My path was too, too far, far that way. Like yeah. you know, so many people they're over it in, yeah. in that way. And uh, you know, being able to see like, oh no, actually your path is going like very far to the right, because I thought like, oh, as long as you know the ball flight laws. You can tell everything by 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 just watching the you know looking yeah. at the divot and watching the ball flight. Here that is different though because you can't see a divot. Here. Exactly. So that is one. Thing. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, everybody. You can find out uh, more about Tony's uh, really interesting website called InsideTheGolfLab.com. There at InsideTheGolfLab.com. Hit the subscribe button on this channel. It's free and it's uh, gets you involved with a really fun community of be better golfers. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. That was really really.